sanctions work uh, because there are certain uh, financial actors that enforce them. And uh, in the pre-technological uh, uh, disruption uh, era, uh, the financial system relied mostly on banks um, uh, enforcing somehow rigorous control in terms of uh, anti-money laundering and know, know your customer rules when it came to uh, scrutinize the origin of the transactions and uh, potentially block them and report them to, uh, to the governments. This paradigm has changed with a lot of uh, crypto exchanges that are regulated and other crypto exchanges that are not regulated and uh, might have some connections with, uh, with the dark web. So um, uh, beyond uh, the problem of this uh, massive uh, quantity of money, I would say that uh, crypto exchanges could be used to uh, move, uh, if not the whole uh, amount of uh, 24 billion, at least a significant part uh, within time, within a certain uh, uh, medium time horizon. And if I can add something, this, I mean, uh, crypto exchanges remain uh, the, the main unsolved issue. Uh, exactly like uh, market infrastructures are essential in traditional economy for uh, developing it and making, making it efficient and strong. Uh, Crypto exchanges are the market infrastructures within the crypto economy. So the fact that they are still uh, unregulated, in particular the decentralized ones, is a reason of concern. And I'm not uh, surprised here that Christine Lagarde called for a uh, rigorous regulatory action, uh, at least in Europe, looking at, at the European Union that already uh, started to think about uh, a potential regulation for the markets in crypto assets in, in 2020. And at the time, the geopolitical threat was represented by Libra issuing a global stable coin. And uh, the European Union was uh, uh, very much concerned about the implications. Now, there's a new geopolitical threat, a war that could accelerate the process towards full regulation of uh, market infrastructures for the crypto economy. Also to avoid uh, the possibility that there might be some uh, uh, ways for the oligarchs to circumvent the sanctions.